Your Majesty, I assure you nothing untoward has occurred. It is only that we love each other so very much. <sighs> While I was deeply flattered by the attention of your nephew, the Prince, I, I simply could not ignore my long-standing affection for the Duke. You see, Your Majesty, it was love at first sight. It was not, Your Majesty. Tell me your name. I honestly to believe you do not already know my name. The young lady flatters me. It was not love at first sight, for either of us. There was attraction, certainly, at least on my part. Miss Bridgerton thought me presumptuous, arrogant, insincere, all fair, really. And I thought her a prim young lady barely out of leading strings. Not to mention the sister of my best friend, and so romance was entirely out of the question for both of us. But in so removing it, we found something far greater. We found friendship. You see, Miss Bridgerton and I have been fooling all of Mayfair for quite some time. We have fooled them into thinking we are courting. And really, all along, we simply enjoyed each other's company so much we could not stay away from one another. I had never been a man that much enjoyed flirting, or chatting, or indeed talking at all with Daphne. Miss Bridgerton. Conversation has always been easy. Her laughter brings me joy. <laughs> to meet a beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend and the most beautiful of women is something entirely apart. And it is with my sincerest apologies, I must say, to the prince coming along for me to realize I did not want Miss Bridgerton to only be my friend, I wanted her to be my wife. You can choose to love me as much as I love you. Even after is how to be the man you need me to be. With short you stay. Of you never end. I'll explain. 